Guys, depending on what type of player you are, I want you to be careful to not make the mistake of thinking that if you hit the ball flat and hard all the time, it's more effective. It's actually not. If you hit the ball flat and all the time, it's going to be in your opponent's hitting zone. It's going to look good, but it's not going to be effective. Consider hitting 80% of your shots high, heavy. You're still hitting the ball, but you're putting more spin on it. You're getting it deep. Now the opponent, now the opponent's going to feel the pressure. It's going to feel him pushing back 80% of the time. Then when the time is right, that's when you go for the 20% flat hard. Try that out. Okay guys, check out this basic but so such an effective tip. Many players, when they try and go down the line, they don't realize but the body is falling out of the shot. Or when they go cross court, the body is not going to the direction where they want to hit the ball. I want you to focus on your chest and your head going to your target where you want the ball to go. So if I want to go down the line, I'm following the ball to my target. Even if it's one or two steps, follow the ball to your target. And you can overdo it in the beginning to get more accuracy cross court. My body and my head, everything is going to my target. And again, so by simply following the ball to your target, where you want the ball to go, you're going to be more accurate. Champions, if, you, if you're struggling to get the ball deep, you're hitting a nice ball, but you're just not getting the ball deep, I want you to consider hitting the exact same shot, but just hitting it higher over the net. Simply hitting the same shot higher over the net will give you more depth. So by simply just hitting the ball a little bit higher, exact same stroke, immediately, automatically you get more depth. Wanted to give you a quick tip guys. If you're having a bad day today, you need to learn to love it. Understand that you're gonna have slumps in tennis. You're gonna have bad days, sometimes weeks, sometimes months. So if you're gonna feel like quitting or feel like you're wasting your time when you're having bad days, I would recommend you stopping because it's a part of the journey. Understand that the slump is always there, but if you stick it out, doesn't matter how long it takes, it always comes out again and you will end up on top if you don't quit. Okay guys, some of you asked me about uh, a mental tip. You know, what do you think about what to do when it's uh, close, five all in the third set? Okay, the first thing you need to do is you need to already ask yourself what is it going to look like after the point. See yourself winning that point. See yourself hitting that ball in the court. Can you visualize the ball going in the court? Can you, can you talk, talk positively in the moment? Check yourself, talk. The worst thing you can do, the mind wants to think, what if I lose, what if I lose? But you are in control of your mind if you can force it to say, how's it going to feel when I win? That's how you handle a big point. Guys, one of the worst things you can do against a pusher is to stay back with him and just hit the ball from too far back. So what, what the pusher wants is for you to be back here, all the way back here, and just push with him. If you do this all day long, they will just love it. This is what you got to do. Step in, take time away from him. So now I'm stepping in, taking all the time away from this pusher. Take that ball early. Taking it early, and now this is making him guess. Taking all his time away. One more. That's how you annihilate a pusher. Guys, here are four reasons that you are losing more matches than you should be. And it's not what you think. Number one, you're not serving enough. Whatever amount you're serving now, you need to double that up. Serve more buckets. Number two, you're not spending enough time on the court. You think you are, but you're probably not hitting as many balls as you think. Number three, check out your fitness. Your fitness is too low. Fitness is the most important thing for you to compete against high level players. Number four, my personal favorite, you're not improving your inner game, okay? You're not reading good books, you're not reading good tennis books. Remember, you'll never be as good or better as who you are. You're only gonna achieve as much as who you are inside. Okay guys, if you wanna get more winners out of your shots without even trying, have a good disguise. So whether you're going down the line or whether you're going cross court, try and look pretty much the same so your opponent can't see where it's going. So down the line, down the line, got the same turn, cross, got the same turn. Down the line, the same turn, and cross, same turn. So a good disguise will give you automatic winners. You guys, be careful on your flat forehand, not to use the flat forehand on the low ball. Okay, it's very hard to get that 
low ball in on the flat forehand. Flat forehand, only use it on the high ball, okay? So high ball, then you can hit the flat ball a lot more comfortable. High ball, flat ball. Give you one more, high ball. Okay, so only use that very flat forehand on the high ball.